If you look at this play, what we're trying to get is a seal here and a seal here and try to run this play in the alley. Hey folks, the Red Scourge here, and welcome back to my triple option Flexbone series that has been long dormant. I'm now with College Football Revamped. We've got a bunch of new plays, so today we're going to look at a play that the revamp team is calling Fake 60 Triple Center Reverse. It's more or less just a reverse or counter off of the standard triple option. So this play is pretty simple. Um, it's red just like the standard triple option. You read the, the guy with the big R over his head, as you all probably know. Um, but you know this is this is more of like an option reverse and I love that they added that because in the base triple option offense in NCAA 14 all you really have is trap option and trap option can work really well but you don't really have a proper uh, B back option in that play the plays a little bit bugged you can hand it off to him but I don't think it's really designed that way so anyways, I'm going to do a little bit of talking over this gameplay because it is a fairly simple play to run. You just have to get some reps with it and get used to it. I uh, did a little bit of workshopping before I filmed this, but not a whole lot. I probably ran this play for a handful of minutes in practice. So here I am running in practice. Uh, defense only forces one pitch to the uh, wing back. But um, in a moment here, you'll see me playing Louisiana Tech in my Dynasty games. You can get a feel for it in an actual game versus practice because I find it's a little bit easier to run these plays in practice. So when I was looking into the terminology behind this play, I was kind of wondering why Fake 60 was in the title. I know there's, uh, I think it's 60 Z slide or something to that effect is a run and shoot passing concept that's in a lot of the flexbone formations in this game. From what I understand, a lot of flexbone coaches tend to run some more of the run and shoot passing concepts. So it would make sense that this is kind of a fake off of that pass play with your A back in motion there. So I'm not sure if this will interest anyone else watching the video, but I did a little bit of digging on the run and shoot terminology because I've seen 60, 50, and also 90 in those passing plays. And I was wondering what does that refer to because that's going to refer to a specific part of the play. And so I found this while looking online. So apparently 50 series is quick passes, 60 series is five-step drop passes, and 90 series are seven-step drop passing plays. thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know if that will interest any of you all. I will put a link in the description to where I found them talking about this. All right, folks, thanks for watching the video. I know I got off on a tangent, but if you really get into some of the finer coaching aspects of this game, you might enjoy these random little bits of trivia I'm able to find as we go. So appreciate you watching the video. Uh, look for more videos coming out soon with these new college football revamped plays.